Hello everyone, including the students from Hassan University and especially the internship committee today. Thank you to everyone who took the time to get through this internship for this semester at Hassan University. This is a very valuable opportunity to help me and students like us to get in touch with the working environment as well as gain a lot of experience for themselves. And for me, I've realized my weaknesses and strengths throughout the teaching process at this Color English Center. Talking about my internship, I will give a brief overview of the center, the key learning objectives I set for the positions I'm working in here, and then we can discuss the topic, which is the perceptions of both teachers and students on utilizing the technologies in English online classes. Lastly, I can evaluate myself and summarize all the things that I have achieved through the conclusion and have some recommendations. Let us start on my journey. As far as I know, Color English Center is a professional English training unit. Currently, the centers have three branches for students to study in Bintan District and District 12 in Ho Chi Minh City. And as the pictures we can see here are the images of the center at branch 2 and the logo of the center. This logo is symbol that conveys many messages with the name Color English Center. So let's talk about more about the courses and teachers here. The center is many professional and dedicated Vietnamese and native English center that follow the principle of putting educational quality first. In addition, the school invests in modern classroom technologies to ensure that students can obtain their learning efficiency. So furthermore, the center aims at building suitable courses to fulfill parents' confidence in their children's ability to learn at this dynamic English center. And as a consequence of the both, create a strong brain and develop three central branches like today. And despite the modest size of the Color English Center, the Vietnamese and native English teacher are always energetic and a leader like a supervisor who's extremely passionate about English education. So for this reason, it frequently attracts parent choices to have their children learn in the center. Okay, so let's talk about chapter two, internship overview. Okay, so before my internship, I plan to accomplish three purposes throughout my internship. The first goal is to apply what I've learned in terms of knowledge and theory to the design test in the real workplace. The second thing is to overcome obstacles and gain valuable work experience in the field of English teaching. And the third thing is to plan and prepare for what I should do to boost my future career. And moreover, students can have a chance to recognize their strengths and weaknesses after their internship graduation. Okay, and after I set the goals to achieve for the internship, I had an interview with my supervisor, who is also the director of College English Language Center. The internship period runs from March 15th to June 26th. And my internship is as an English teacher at the College English Center. And during the internship, I observed classes and taught by the school faculty and worked as the customer service officers in the part-time job. In the middle of the internship, the pandemic situations in Vietnam became exceedingly challenging. The government encouraged people to only go out when it's essential, when it's necessary. So this caused school language center to be forced to convert from traditional learning to online learning at home. Therefore, I began teaching English online with a new class that followed the same schedule on the weekend. Okay, so the first one, let's talk about my position in the center. Let's start with the first job, a customer service office. Since I need to observe the class, and my future class is on weekends, weekdays, and I spend on customer service office work. And during the process of this job, I've learned a lot of new things at the Vibrant Interest Center. Working as a customer service office includes introducing costs, products to customers, counseling on courses that are appropriate for customers' need, and storing information and taking care of customers and managing classes. Coming to the second job is the observer. Before my teaching demonstration, I had the opportunity to observe a teacher class at the CAT level. I learned about the teacher's teaching methods via my observations, and at the same time, I was able to understand the learning styles and conduct of middle school students throughout the lecture. Besides, I attend online classes presented by online teachers so that I could see the teachers and the design of engaging activities for the students. So therefore, observing the offline classes and online classes also helps me to predict the atmosphere of the class and prepare appropriately for my lessons. Okay, so lastly, you can see this is the main position in which I need to specialize and get experience for my internship course. My main responsibilities include teaching a CAT class at the center and then an online CAT program. There are numerous ways for me to recognize my strengths and weaknesses in the workplace. Throughout the class, I observe the students' reaction to my lessons. 
I chose the material to create the lessons to be as practical and useful as possible for the student. Okay, so you can see here, before the class, I prepare materials for teaching English, like a PowerPoint slide. Also, I give them some games on the bamboo And then, if I can search some useful YouTube video, I will show them. And also, this is the books for teaching English. On the left, you can see solutions books, and on the right is for the books that focus on vocabulary. Okay, so instead of doing exercise in the textbook, I also brainstorm creative activities to make them feel more motivated to study English instead of using the exercise on the textbook. And moreover, I devote my time to technology, searching the internet for exciting and valuable information that gives students perspective on what they have learned. Okay, so using technology is more important than ever in the COVID pandemic situation. It is thought to be the most efficient method for students to study online while remaining safe from the COVID-19. To investigate whether or not employing technology to teach English is an effective learning strategy, as a result, I decided to conduct research and use survey data from students and teachers for online learning on the topic perceptions of both teachers and students regarding the use of technologies in English online classes. Okay, so we have four parts here from A to B. Uh, let's start with the A. Throughout my teaching day, I noticed and realized that many teachers concentrated on teaching about the book. Students just sat at the desks and studied with a book that contained numerous information. However, I attempt to use more materials from the internet to educate for my cat class which results in both negative and positive outcomes for my students. Okay, so however, I discovered that learners can broaden their knowledge by using technology supported in the class. And as a result, I began searching for the resources on the internet, and therefore, I chose to study subject to assess and survey the observation and analysis of students' and teachers' perspective on the use of technology, apps, and the internet on the computer. Okay, so for number two, as you can see on the slide, there's some quotes from the research paper. This one analyzed the important and effectiveness of using technologies in the English classroom. The following is information from previous researchers, including the concept of technologies integration, the importance of using technologies in English classroom, and the teacher's perceptions of using technologies in English classroom analyzed for the subject. Okay, you can see here. This is from QO, for example demonstrates the beneficial benefits of EOF students utilizing YouTube with video link to school subjects to improve their English listening skill. For part C, issue enhancement interpretations. Participants used in this survey include 25 students at English Center School and five teachers at Order English Language Center. About the methodology, I use five same questions for students and teachers to ask. You can see here, this is part A for students, five questions, and here is the questionnaire for the teacher in the part A. Okay. As you can see, these are five questions that I give them. After collecting the data, I gather this information and evaluate the responses using charts and columns, diagrams. Let me show you the graph based on the result. Here, you can see on the left is students' result, and on the right is the teacher's result. And this one is question one from question five. Here, how do students feel about technologies applied in classroom activities and knowledge? Num question number three. Question number four. Question number five. Okay, after analyzing and surveying students and teachers, we can see that the perceptions of these two subjects have the same type of question, but the data and the results are very different. Students are enthusiastic about using technology to study English online, and the majority of them have no problem learning and provide several advantages while doing so. Teachers, on the other hand, dislike and are ambivalent about English education that incorporates technology. Furthermore, they believe that using this approach is time-consuming, and there are problems with data connections, webcams, and microphones between teachers and students. But however, they also can ignore the value of online information resources and the time saved by using online learning platforms to learn English. Therefore, through this survey, we can see students' interest in using technology for online English learning. And as for teachers, they should be encouraged to use more technologies in their teaching. So next one is evaluation. During the training process at the English Language Center, I have realized a lot of valuable experience and knowledge to accumulate for myself every day. And additionally, for a beginner like me, this internship provides a strong basis from which I could absorb knowledge and evolve into a good teacher. It also showed me that applying information to teaching is difficult and that it needs daily nurturing and practice. And therefore, the internship provides me with enough 
experience and understanding of my strengths and shortcomings so that I can advance in my job as a teacher. Okay, so let's talk about strength. In terms of communication, I like conversing with everyone. When I speak with my co-workers, I gain a lot of knowledge from their job experiences. When I interact with students, I learn more about their learning styles and can customize my courses properly. I receive considerable experiences and information from my supervisor discussion with me. And I'm grateful to everyone from the center since I met and learned quite a bit of interesting and useful things from people. Okay, so what about witnesses? Aside from that, I have a lot of areas which I need to improve more. One of these flaws is a lack of pedagogical understanding of the teaching process. I still want to be able to assist students in better understanding the ideas they've learned, and as a result, this is the same concern and problem I will be teaching and evaluating throughout my teaching career. Okay, so the last one, conclusion. Um, overall, this internship was a very unforgettable experience for me, and this internship allows me to work freely while receiving valuable experiences for the future. It would also close for university process, but that's the open for a new door to help me in taking a firm step forward into the future. Furthermore, for students to perform well during the internship, it would be wonderful if the Huaxing University could come up with a way to encourage us to develop a firm foundation in research skills, particularly in the topic section. It will support students in learning more profoundly and fully, and that's what writing a written report correctly. And that's the end of the presentation. Thank you for your listening. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Thank you. Thanks.